Hi and welcome to my tiny kitchen. We're doing a recipe video today. It's been a while. I've, I have one recipe video up of some tomato vegetable soup. Today we're doing another soup. This is going to be a pinto bean uh, smoked sausage and vegetable soup, which is really nice. Trust me, I've made this before. In the Netherlands, we call this basically a brown bean and smoked sausage soup. Um, but I have pinto beans on hand. The, this, these are the last in the bag. These are the baggie uh, that I bought. A little, you know, I think I bought these last year. Uh, but they last a long time. I'm, I'm a single woman. You know, <laughs> Beans are calorie rich, so you, you use them sparingly. And um, I've been using them up, and they're delicious. These are the pinto beans. They're nice, dried. We're going to use, because they're dried beans, and if you put them on the stove, it's going to take forever. I'm going to use the crock pot multi-cooker, which is an Instapot. Same thing, different brand, you know, or just, it doesn't make that little sound that the Instapot does. <laughs> but it is pretty much an Instapot. And I'm going to use a pressure cooker setting. I'll show you how it is uh, done and how the soup turns out. Let's see what I'm going to put in the soup. Like I said, there's going to be pinto beans. This is 280 grams. It's pretty much all that was left in the package right normally i would add 200 or 250 grams or so but it was it happened to be 280 grams it's fine <laughs> you know whatever this is the thing with soup you cannot mess it up it doesn't matter if there's 250 or 280 grams of pinto beans in there right really doesn't this is a smoked sausage this is an extra lean smoked sausage i count calories for weight loss uh, so I choose options that have a little less calories, like this one. It does, it saves you about 100 or so calories per 100 grams if you buy the regular smoked sausage or the extra lean one. And it tastes really good. It's delicious. And in the soup, you know, you won't notice if it's a regular or an extra lean smoked sausage. Anyway, I'm adding some soup vegetables. This is a, a bag of soup vegetables you can buy here in the Netherlands. This is from the Lidl, 400 grams. It's got... Carrots, uh, cauliflower, leek, and celery. All vegetables that are lovely in the soup. This is about 450 or so grams of leeks after they've been cleaned. Because I am going to clean them, obviously. Four onions. We're going to add... This is about 250 grams or so of carrots after they're cleaned. And these have been in the fridge for a long time. They need to be used up. And then uh, a couple of cloves of garlic, of course. And four cubes. And this is a beef bouillon very simple four cubes is enough i could probably do more you know because you have to count um one cube per 500 milliliter and it's definitely going to be more in that pot but i think four is enough i can always add more oh and i will add of course of course how can i forget some bay leaves you need some bay leaves in your soup right so three or four bay leaves depending on the size and this recipe is part vegetable that i have in you know left over Carrots and onions that always have, like I said, these carrots have been in the fridge for a couple of weeks. They need to be used up. These pinto beans, you know, have been in the pantry for a year. They, they were ready to be used up. Though, of course, dried beans last forever. So there's no rush uh, there, really. And, of course, things I bought specifically for this recipe. Like the, the smoked sausage I bought and the, uh, the soup vegetables, things like that. Anyway, I'm doing a pantry freezer challenge. This is why I mention what I sort of had lying around and what I bought specifically. This is going to make 10 portions. This thing is going to fill that whole pot, pretty much. And uh, everything is going to go on the pressure cooker setting. I'm just going to chuck everything in there. I'll show you once I have all the vegetables cut up and stuff. Uh, everything is just going in there uh, together and we'll just pressure cook it like a stew, basically a soup stew setting. And... Um, or a bean set, not, not a stew, a bean set. I have a bean setting on here. So we'll use the bean setting and that will do the trick. And, you know, everything else will be cooked as well. The leeks and the carrots and stuff will be done. I am going to leave the smoked sausage out until after the, the soup is basically pressure cooked. Because it doesn't need to be cooked. It's already done. All I have to do is cut it up and then add it later. And this soup, I'm going to uh, have a couple of portions of this in the fridge. For this week to eat it as lunches. I love these types of soups as lunches. And then the rest I'm going to freeze uh, in portions and then I can take them out of the freezer as needed for lunches in the next, you know, two to three weeks. I still, my pantry challenge is still going on for another three, three and a half weeks. And, you know, this soup will be a very welcome lunch to have during that time. 
And it will save me buying, you know, stuff for lunch. Because this is 10 portions. That's a lot of soup. Anyway, I am going to uh, cut up all the vegetables. And I'll see you when that is done. And here are all the ingredients cut up and ready to go. We have the leeks in here. We have onions, carrots, bay leaves and garlic in there. The baggy soup vegetables. Beans are ready to go. And I have dissolved the bouillon cubes here in some hot water that we're going to add because we need to add water anyway so you know dissolve it let's get it all put in the pot there go the beans there go the soup vegetables and i'm all doing this one hand i don't have like a real tripod or anything so bear with me <laughs> the leeks i hope i don't spill everything like i said this is going to be a huge pot see it's already full incredible we're not even done yet <laughs> packed full already and then the onions and the carrots and of course this is all going to uh, become small the the vegetables as it cooks but this is pretty much as full as you can uh, make it in your but you know it's 10 portions it's a big huge so now we're going to add water as much as needed we are going to need some more water there oh and i'm going to put it on a brown saute for a second to get it basically uh heating because pressure cooking you know it needs to be hot and when you put it on sauteing uh, it heats it up quickly and that makes the time that it needs to pressure cook less sorry about that so getting used to doing all of this one-handed and I'm just adding some warm water basically basically until it's all there we go again we're now at pretty much three oh yeah that's right there at the top you can see the water is right there so we don't really know. I'm not going to add. We can always add more water later, but uh, this is plenty. Let me grab a towel here. Um, a full pot. I'm letting it come to a boil, basically, on the saute setting, like I was just trying to explain while I was getting distracted by filling the crock pot. Um, I like to get it to temperature with a saute function because it takes... Uh, less time than to do with pressure cooking basically and when it's already hot and boiling on the saute function then you can just start the pressure cooking and it will come to temperature really quickly that's basically you know what i'm doing here anyway um let's wait until it's boiling and then i'll show you what i do to turn it on it is almost completely heated up it's not yet at the bubbling stage but honestly it's warm and this will help get it to pressure quicker i've cleaned up the kitchen quickly thrown everything away i sliced up my smoked sausage i'm going to add that after the soup is done it's already fully cooked so you know it just needs to be added to the soup basically um let's get it started it's pressure cooking close the lid make sure it is on ceiling which is this side and then we are very simply going to select the bean chili option which is this and it says 20 minutes yeah i'm gonna add a little bit to that i think let's just do 30 minutes because there's some dried beans in there you know so 30 minutes pressure cooking on high and i'm going to press the start stop and it's going to heat and you know make sure it's closed sealed and it should be all right this way uh, i will see you when it is done and the soup is done or at least the crock pot is done whether the soup is done remains to be seen <laughs> but it's now on a natural release the 15 minutes means that it's been on keep warm setting for 15 minutes so it's naturally releasing i am going to i was busy editing another video so i just let it go to natural release anyway i'm going to press it 
I'm curious to see if it's done because before I've made bean soup before, but before that I usually did the beans separately. I would put the beans in with water and, uh, you know, do it on a pressure cooker setting for beans, chili. And then once the beans were done, I would add the vegetables and put it on the slow cooker setting for, you know, uh, four hours or so. But now I figured, why not just put everything in, in the pressure cooking setting? Because it saves a lot of time. And all the vegetables that I'm putting in here are, you know, they, they can stand up against the pressure cooking. Some vegetables might turn to mush, but leeks and onions and carrots won't. So they'll be fine, I hope. Anyway, I am going to uh, press the release, see what happens. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Let me just turn it away a little bit so I don't... So it goes past the cupboard. As you can see, it goes past the cupboard. So... So plenty of steam in there, even though it's been on the natural leaf for 16 minutes. I'll uh, get back to you when it is. Just to show you, it's almost done, but my dog was fast asleep and all the smells coming from the, the crock pot woke him up. So he came stumbling into the kitchen like, oh my God, what is that smell? <laughs> that was kind of funny. Anyway, it is, uh, it stopped venting, I think is what we're calling it. Oh yeah, see that? That was the little uh, little thing popping. So I think we are good now to open it and to see. So it vented for a good, you know, two to three minutes. It was uh, still pressurized. Let's see what happens when we. Yeah, I'm always I'm always a little excited, you know, using a pressure cooker. So it's of course very hot. Actually, let me just push this back because I don't want this hot pot standing over my dog on the edge. That way lies <coughs> very expensive vet bills. Oh yeah, look at that. And a trip over there, still bubbling away. You can see, still bubbling away. Now I have no clue, I have no clue if the beans are done or not. Oh, sorry about that. We'll see. Oh yeah, it's look, looking like a stew almost, isn't it? Anyway, let me just... Oh yeah. That is looking nice. Let's see if the beans are done. Let me get some beans. I just, uh, I'm gonna do it very professional. You just, oh yeah, they're done. They're falling apart in between my fingers. You see that? It just fell apart. Very hot still, but yeah, the beans are done. You can tell, I don't know if you can see. They're all smushed, very easily smushed. So that is a full pot of soup, completely done. That looks amazing. That is a thick, look at that. Look at how, oh man, it smells so good. And the smoked sausage isn't even in there. This is just leeks and onions and garlic, bay leaf, you know, beans. It's really, <laughs> but it smells delicious. I'm going to add the smoked sausages, sausage and I'll come back to you. Here is the finished soup. I've added the smoked sausage. I've also added a few twists of black pepper, well, a few, quite a few twists of black pepper uh, of my pepper grinder because I love black pepper. And I've added something very typically Dutch, maggi, or European, I should say, because I know this stuff is also popular in other European countries. This is maggi. It's a flavor. It's a savory flavor. I've added a, a few, you know, little shakes of that in there. And uh, this is the finished soup. And as you can see, it is an absolutely delicious, it is chunky, it is hearty. And this is really a soup in the Netherlands that we eat in the fall and the winter. You know, this is that kind of soup. And it's only August, well, it's the end of August, next week it will be September. But um, the weather, it's really funny because a couple of weeks ago we had a two-week heat wave, which blew some records, but the last week has been... Very autumn-like weather. It's not been super cold, but it has been windy and it has been overcast and it has been drizzling and it has been, you know, you can really feel that autumn is coming. But I mean, September is literally right around the door. So it is time for a soup like this, I think. <laughs> and I had the ingredients, you know, I had the beans and um, I had some vegetables. I went in here and yeah, I'm looking for it because this is going to be absolutely delicious. 
and really filling a soup like this you know with all these beans in there and all these vegetables and some of the smoked sausage one bowl of this will absolutely fill you up uh, as a meal no doubt about it and yeah it's it's good for you obviously it is a very good delicious healthy nutritious soup and there are 10 portions at least <laughs> at least 10 portions i might even be able to squeeze 11 out of it but 10 portions and per portions because i did the math i created a recipe for this in my fitness pal i always do that and so per portion it's 193 calories a big bowl of this soup is 193 calories which is not bad at all but again it's mostly vegetables and beans a little bit of a lean smoked sausage so it's really a lean lunch. I will eat this with some crackers that will bring it up to around, you know, 280, 300 calories for a lunch, which is exactly where I want to be for lunches. I like lighter lunches, heavier dinner. Anyway, this is my bean vegetable soup with smoked sausage. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And that way you won't miss any of my other videos. Thank you so very much for watching. And hopefully I will see you again soon.